Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick Gaska and welcome back to I Can Do That DIY for another doll repaint video. Today I'm going to be customizing Honey, the doll that I designed and created myself. Today's video is going to be super fun because it's a collab for Valentine's Day. This collab is hosted by Electric Bunny. Also in this collab is Dollyanna, Rock Puppet Switchy Pink, Enchantarium, and myself. As you probably already figured out by the thumbnail, this doll is going to be a puppy. More specifically, puppy love. So I sculpted a new face. I personally love dogs and I think this one turned out super adorable. I also sculpted some paw hands and some paw feet. Off screen, I'll 3D print and prep the doll. But before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest projects. If you haven't already checked out the website, go check it out! www.thehoneydog.com There are a bunch of different options on the website for you to explore. You can purchase a stock honey or customize your very own. There's always new things being added to the shop, so make sure to keep an eye out. Currently, there are new faces, new hands, new magnetized hands, and new painted eyes. Go check out the website now to get your hands on them. Alright, now let's get to the project. Here's how the face turned out after it was 3D printed. I printed her in a more saturated version of candy. I think it looks really good. The face turned out super adorable. As usual, I'll be working on the face with multiple layers of watercolor pencil and acrylic paint. I'll be sealing all of the layers with Mr. Super Clear. I'll spray it on and let it dry 30 minutes before progressing to the next layer. I'll start by laying out the eye with a watercolor pencil. I'll do one side and then mirror the same thing onto the other side. After that I'll move on to using some pastels and some acrylic paint. As I move forward through the layers I'll gradually build up opacity and color.
After this, I realized the nose was looking a little weird red and it kind of looked cat-like, so I decided to paint it black. Once I'm happy with the face, the next step is putting on the lashes. For this, I'll be using Kiss Brand Faux Eyelashes in the style So Real. I'll just pull them off the packaging, measure them to the eye, and cut them the appropriate length. After that, I'll add some quick dry tacky glue to the eyelash and to the eye. And then attach the eyelash. I'll do one side and then the other side off screen. After that's all dry, I'll move on to glossing the face. I'll be glossing the nose, the lip line, and the waterline. I'll be using a shiny UV top coat to do this. I'll just paint it on and cure it with some UV light. Alright, next up is the shoes. For the shoes, I designed a new pair. The heel is made out of a giant heart, and they have three hearts on the toe. They have a very high platform in the front. I'll start by painting them red with my airbrush, so that there's no brush strokes and the color goes on nice and even. After that, I'll use a brush to paint all of the hearts. I'm going to paint the outside of the hearts pink and the inside of the hearts white. I'll finish them up with a shiny top coat. To start things off, I'll be making my own print. To do this, I'll make a vinyl print with my Cricut. I'll just cut it out and peel back the vinyl. It's going to be a bunch of little hearts. Super cute, right? Once I fully pull off the excess vinyl, I can attach it to the fabric. My base fabric is a white cotton rod cloth. I'm just going to stick it on, cover it with some parchment paper, and press it. This is going to turn into a shirt. I've already cut all of my pattern pieces out. I'll start by sewing the center front seam. I'll press this off screen. Next we'll sew the collar piece. To save on some usage of the print, I'm lining the collar in a plain white broadcloth. Once I've pressed the center front seam, I'll sew a faux placket along the center front. The sleeve has some loose on, so we're going to be gathering up the sleeve edge. Then we'll attach it to the cuff. After I've attached the cuff, I'll fold it over and press it. Then I'll do a top stitch to secure the back. After that, I'll sew the center front of the facing. After that, I can attach the collar. I'll sandwich the collar in between the facing and the bodice. 
then I'll sew around the neckline. After that I'll bring the facing toward the inside and press the neckline. Off screen I'll do velcro closure at the center back. Then I'll sew the underarm seams. Once I sew both underarm seams, I'll hem the bottom edge. Alright cool, I'll just flip this right side out and we can move on to making some socks. The socks are going to be made out of a lightweight mesh. To stabilize it, I'll be using some paper. To make sure that the seam has some stretch, I'll do a zigzag stitch. After the seam is sewn, I can rip away the paper. After that, I'll fold the sock in half and sew the center back seam. The next garment we'll be working on is a jumper. I'll be making it out of a red cotton broadcloth. I'll start by sewing the skirt. I'll sew the side seams of the front skirt and the back skirt. After that I'll work on the strap. I'll be adding some lace trim to the strap. Then I'll fold over the excess, press it, and secure it with the top stitch. I'll be using the same lace to hem the skirt. I'll sew it on. Again, I'll fold over the excess and press it, and secure it with the top stitch. Then I'll gather up the top edge and attach it to the waistband. I'll finish the waistband top edge with the facing off screen. Then I'll secure the facing with the top stitch along the bottom edge. After I sew that, I'll add a velcro closure to the back off screen. Alright, next up is sewing the bib. The bib will be a heart shape. I'll sew two pieces together along the edge, leaving the bottom side open. Then I'll turn it right side out and attach it to the skirt portion. I added some glue to the back just to secure it while I'm sewing. Then I'll do a top stitch along the edge to secure it to the skirt. Alright, I'll just finish this up and do a lot of things off screen. I'll add the straps as well as some bow buttons to the front. I also decided to add some bows to the outfit. I add some bows to the sock as well as one to the ear. Alright, now let's move on to painting the paws. I'll be painting the nails as well as the pads on the paw. I'll be painting the nails red and the pads black. I'll finish the nails with the shiny UV top coat and the pads with a matte UV top coat.
The final part of our outfit is going to be a purse. I designed and 3D printed a heart purse with a see-through window in the front. I'll just paint it the same way I painted my heels, with my handy dandy airbrush. I just love how even it makes the paint go on. So that the purse doesn't blow away, I'll secure it in place with some tape. After it's all painted, I'll finish it with the same UV top coat that I've been using on the nose and everything else. The window will be made out of some salvaged plastic out of a toy container. I'll just trace the heart and cut it out. Once I put it in place, I'll secure it with some glue. Then I'll make the strap out of some ribbon. I'll cut the ribbon and finish the end with my lighter. Then I'll pull it through the hole and glue it in place with some super glue. I'll do the same thing on the other side of the strap. I'll add some sparkle to the strap with a rhinestone. I'll just add a few more rhinestones and with that, the doll's complete! So here she is, here's the finished result. Oh my god, puppy love is so cute, she's just so adorable. For this doll I ended up making a wig and not liking how it looked, so I decided to forego the wig and I'm really happy that I did, because I think she looks really good. I also really love how the outfit turned out. It's kind of an amalgamation of a bunch of different pattern pieces from previous projects, and it turned out super cute. I specifically really love the accessories as well. The heart purse and the heart shoes are just adorable. How do you think Puppy Love turned out? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any ideas for future projects, I always love to hear those. This new face sculpt as well as the paws are now available on the website, www.thehoneydoll.com. Go check it out now and see all the other new updates. For the rest of the video, enjoy the remainder of the photos, and make sure to stick around to the end to see the collab shot.
So here's the collab shot. From left to right, we have Enchanterium, myself, Daliana, Rock Puppets Witchy Pink, and Electric Bunny. Thank you again to Electric Bunny for hosting this collab. It was super fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to watch everyone else's video. I'll put links to everyone's channel in the description box below. Thanks again for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!